So this video has been inspired by real events. This is something that I know. I'm sure of maybe in my own perspective, maybe yours has been different, but I'm sure of this is things that have happened. And I had to find a way how to deal with the entire situation. Let me give you guys a little background of what has inspired me to do this video. Now, when I walked away from a narcissist, that was one of the most painful experiences of my life. Okay? So, I was going through it all. It was tough. It was tough in regards to my mental health. It was tough in regards to my physical health. So, I was going through it all. It was really, really tough. And uh, in that particular moment, I was hurting. Now, let's not even talk about the dysfunctional family matrix. We're just talking about the ex-narcissist. One of the things I recognized was the energy was very dense. It was a very dense energy. I did not know what to do with this energy. I did know... Uh, how can I feel better? How can I get out of this very dense energy? It was extremely intense, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm very sure that many of you guys who are with these narcissistic people or maybe you're living, you know, you have, you have this idea of what was going on. So then I came to the awareness of the trauma bond. I didn't even know what a trauma bond was. So I, I came to that awareness of what they call the trauma bond. And I was working very hard to, to break out of this trauma bond. Fortunately, I had received my speech awakening, so at least there are some cords that are already broken. And now I was trying to cleanse my energy to get out of this, you know, trauma bonds and, you know, whatever was happening. Now, I did not get any help. Ladies and gentlemen, me, I'm talking about things. Most of the times, these videos that I do, you will know it is personal experience. So I teach you these things so that you can learn from this. So I had to get myself back together. And there is things, there is things that I did. There is things that I've done. There is things that I did to be able to get to where I am today. And it was a journey. Okay? So I'm going to teach you guys... Um, how to transmute negative energy, okay? How do you transmute this energy? Because at some point, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have to do the work to get rid of this energy. Uh, one of the things, the very first one, you're going to do, my chosen ones, you are going to remove yourself. I did a small list here because I made sure that I don't want to forget this whole thing. You are going to remove yourself. It doesn't matter who it is. I do not care, father, mother, parents. It doesn't matter, job. You remove yourself. You have to remove yourself. Get away. There is no other way around it. Because you see, what you're dealing with is negative energy. And those individuals will not stop for as long as you are still in that vicinity. Because you're dealing with energy vampires. You are going to remove yourself. You are going to find a way. I don't know if you're going to sleep in your car, if you're going to go and a couple of weeks with a friend, you know, at the house, if you're going to go to the countryside, you're going to remove yourself. As soon as you remove yourself, you are, you're actually going to block these people. You are going to block them, you know. One of the most painful things I've learned on this journey is having to block the people that meant the most in that particular time because I didn't even know who they were, you know. You will block these people. You have to delete them from your phones if you have to. You have to get away, block, delete, disappear, go ghost. Because you see, if there is no subject, then the energy doesn't have an address. So basically, you're not around. You know, they don't have access. They're not going to call you to trigger you. They're not going to move around. and You go away, block, delete, disappear. 
that is the very first step you are going to do. You are going to do before even you think about transmuting that energy. Now the energy will still be there. You will have those, you know, the shock. Uh, what do they call it? The aftershocks of the. You will feel the shock waves of that energy. Still, the, it will be lingering around you for some time. But you have removed the first problem. Get away from them. Very important. Number two. You are going to sit down by yourself and uh, find every little empathy in you to forgive them. You are going to forgive them. You remember when these things was happening to Jesus? You guys, the Bible scholars, you know this. When Jesus was being crucified and, you know, all these guys were shouting, whatever. And Jesus asked God to forgive them because they did not know what they was doing. So forgive them. Uh, it is going to be very hard. That is going to be one of the, your biggest uh, challenge when you're going on this journey. You are going to forgive them. And you're going to also forgive yourself for getting involved with that situation, okay? Because you see, when you're forgiving this, these people, you're opening these doors for you to start the healing journey, okay? To start your healing journey. So you're opening these doors to heal. So you don't forgive them for them because evil people don't know they have, to, they have to be forgiven because some of the things, they don't believe they have done anything wrong. They have done so many things to you, but they don't believe they have done anything wrong. So they don't believe they, they deserve forgiveness or they need even forgiveness. So you are going to do it silently for yourself and you forgive them. Okay, you release. That is also energy that is living. The moment you forgive, you're going to start realizing that you started to become lighter. There's an energy that is leaving you, you know, because evil people, they want you to stay, to stay in that state of resentment and anger and rage and stuff like that. You are thinking what they did and stuff. They want you to, to stay in that low vibrational energy. Forgive them. And eventually you're going to notice a very big shift in your energy because there's an energy that you're releasing. And that energy is, is going back to them because you have nothing to do with that energy. It was never yours in the first place. These things take time, so don't be in a rush with everything. Take your time. Don't do it in a day or two. Make sure that you, you, you follow the steps and you'll be okay. The third thing you will do, very important as well, don't seek revenge. Do not. Do not. Ladies and gentlemen, do not seek revenge. Revenge is a very... It's a very bad place to be. It's a very low frequency energy to be. You cannot be in that state of wanting to revenge because this one did that. You, you cannot start running around and swimming along with the pigs. You cannot swim along with the pigs because you, or you eventually are going to get dirty with them. And that's what they want to do. They want to get you dirty. So don't seek revenge to, on, on those people. As long as you've gotten away and you've forgiven them, you're not going to change everything and focus on yourself. So don't, don't seek revenge. Don't go out there blasting them doing that smearing campaign, those kind of things, don't do those, don't do those kind of things. You're going to start releasing that energy. This one I can promise you, ladies and gentlemen, these things, they may not even make sense at the moment, but those are the things that work. You are an empath. I want you to listen to this video. Do not seek revenge. <clears throat> Now, when that has happened, and you are not in that revenge mode and stuff like that, you are going to start doing everything that you can in your power to create a space for you to start healing. Okay? Healing is going to be done as well. You are going to do to everything you can to heal, and you are going to invest in yourself. Now, for the very first time, you are going to come to the awareness of something they call self-love. You are going to do everything you can to love yourself a little bit more. Because you see, the reason why you had an entanglement with those individuals is because you didn't know anything about loving yourself. So you opened up your energy and you gave away your energy to the people that don't even deserve it. You gave away your energy to your bosses at work, to your workmates, to your wife, husband and stuff like that. But there was evil people, you know. So you have been giving away a lot of this energy and you do not have anything left for yourself. You are now going to start healing. You are going to invest in yourself. When I'm talking about invest in yourself, you don't, you don't have to invest in yourself financially. Yes, you may have the finances and stuff like that. It will even be the better for you because now you can start venturing into trips. You know, you can start making very, uh, what do they call them? Healing trips. They call them healing trips. You can go to 
the mountains. It, it, it doesn't have to be international. You don't have to make overseas trips and stuff like that. If you can, yes, it will, be, it will also work out uh, uh, as well. But you can start with the small ones. If you're not really financially stable, you're not in position to buy these flight tickets, do the local trips. You know, make a trip, go somewhere, sit by the countryside, go somewhere, sit by the woods, go somewhere, sit in the mountains, go somewhere where there is really life happening. You know, it's a safari, it's a national, a national park, it's whatever. Go anywhere. You know that there is no toxicity and do that little investment in yourself. If you can, move abroad, go and take a one-week trip, two-week trip, vacation, holidays, stuff like that. You're going to invest in yourself. Eat well, okay? You're going to have to change the way you eat. You're going to have to get rid of junk food. You're going to have to get rid of a lot of things that are, you know, unnecessary things you've been doing, hobbies, activities, and stuff like that. And you also have to get, you're going to have to get rid of uh, people who are low vibrational, people who are not taking you anywhere. Those are the people that have been a part of sapping your energy over the time. So you're going to get rid of all those people. So you are now starting to heal, okay? Everything you can do to heal, because healing means starting to feel better and get out of a previous situation, a previous energy that you've been before, starting to feel better about yourself. So anything you can do to heal, like I've said, I did these things myself. Maybe for you it's going to be easy. You know some therapist in town, you know a psychologist in town, you can uh, buy some, uh, what do they call it, buy some uh, sessions with them. Maybe you know a coach online. You're going to have to invest in yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes people who are getting out of uh, this kind of energies, they don't understand that uh, many of them think that investing in themselves, they are throwing away money. You're not throwing away money, ladies and gentlemen. You're putting that money in the right place because it is for your own healing unless you don't understand what you really want, unless you don't even have the money for starters. That is different. But do not ever think that you are investing into something and you're throwing away money. You are investing in yourself. You are going to do everything if you have the money to invest in yourself. If you don't have the money to invest in yourself, then you have to, you have to do it the easy way, okay? Uh, when that is happening, or when it has happened as well, or as it is happening, you're going to start tapping into your highest nature. So you're going to start tapping into creative abilities. You are going to... Uh, you, may have, you may be a person who has always, like, you know, uh, been reluctant, or I could say you never paid attention to some things. So you're going to have to tap into your creative abilities. You could have been a person who used to be very good at weaving the baskets. You could have been very good at uh, these handcrafts and stuff like that. Maybe you are used to like fashion and things like that. Get out that book and start doing some sketches. Invest in something new, okay? So you're going to have to get into some creation. Do something that you know you are skilled at, you're talented at. Maybe you've always wanted to be uh, playing in the basketball team, go out there and start those classes. Maybe you're a person who wants to go to these Zumba, Zumba classes. You want to join some yoga classes. You want to join some... Uh, it, anything you can do, start doing it. Get into creative abilities. Start being creative. Because this energy, it needs to be transmitted into something else. Okay? So if you do not try to push it out of you, it is always going to ring around you for some time. And you have to get a way of releasing that energy out of you. So you are going to get into creative things. If you want to go, come and join us doing what we do, whatever, you have the, your own platforms on Instagram, you have your own Facebook channel, whatever, YouTube, TikToks, get out your camera, start recording something. And when you're doing this, make sure that you are uh, as authentic as you can be, okay? So don't try to say something that wasn't your story. Make sure that you stick to your story because you see, one of the things I've learned on this journey is that for you to be able to gain anything that will stay, you have to be authentic, okay? Don't just try to do something because there is somebody else doing it. So I'm going to do that because that one is doing it. No, no, no. It should be com coming from your heart. So it should be your own authentic story. Share if you want to share. Get out your camera, record something, share with people. There will be people always who will come around and listening. You know, they'll listen. They'll they'll listen to your stories. They will uh, 
support you, you know, it doesn't mean that it's going to happen overnight, 24 hours or a week or two. It is going to be work in progress. Become a work in progress. Start creating something new. Creativity will now channel all that energy into something very important. Okay, so in other words, you're trying to become an alchemist. You're channeling all this negative energy and putting it, to, putting it into something very productive. Okay? You don't have to expect overnight results. It is going to be a work in progress. Like I've said, it's going to take you some time, but eventually you're going to get to where you want to be. On that journey, you may even sometimes discover some other things that you never knew about yourself. You know? You may discover that you're good at this or you're good at that because when I'm talking about creation, I'm talking about you just starting anything. Just start. It is not going to make sense. Ladies and gentlemen, all these big creators you see, they woke up one day and they just started developing something. They didn't even know what they were doing at the time. Before you know it, it's going to make some sense. So get into your creative abilities. Tap into your creative abilities, okay? There has to be something you're good at. If you like going out to garden, I recently had a, 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 a session with somebody who likes gardening. I told her, go, go and do this gardening, whatever. You, you're a person who likes gardening. You know, you're planting flowers, you're planting some seeds. There's a guy even I know, he's, on, uh, oh, he's online, I think he's TikTok. He likes gardening, he's buying uh, fruits, then he will eat the fruits and he will take out the seeds, plant them, and he's showing his journey how it's going. And he has a lot of followers, okay? And then another thing that you're going to do, chosen ones, is um, let it go, okay? Let it go. Now, letting go is very hard. A lot of people struggle. I struggled myself with letting go. Okay, there's things, things that happened. Understand that this was, um, it was your lesson. You know, take it as a lesson that there is things that, that, you know, the universe was teaching you in those experiences. So you let it go. Let whatever happened to you with those people, let it go. Release it, let it go. I don't know what it let it go means for you. You may do it in a different way than I did, but you have to find a way to let it go. So basically, don't try not to sit down all the time and reminisce on those moments and think about this, what this happened. Yes, take time, time to really reflect on, uh, you know, at the beginning, reflect a little bit on what happened and then release it and let it go. When you let it go, when you do let it go, then you open up a space for new things to begin, a new life to begin, okay? And then something else, which is the last one, you are going to have to do whatever it is you can take, you can do to raise your vibration. You are going to raise your vibration. I've already done videos on how to raise your vibration. Um, basically, you're raising your vibration by grounding yourself. I don't know, you want to meditate, you want to go out, take some time in nature. You want to eat high vibration of foods, you want to stay around high vibration of people, you want to do some gazing, you want to do everything. Go take a swim in the lake, the rivers, do what you can do to raise your vibration. Ladies and gentlemen, if you follow those little simple steps, you are going to transmute that negative energy and you are eventually going to become your greatest version. Like I've said, there is no time limit for these things. These things take time. They take a lot of work. As long as you put in the work, ladies and gentlemen, you will see the results. So let us know what you think about this video in the comment section below. You guys know I do love and appreciate your support. Please book a session if you want to. You may donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I'll catch you guys in my next one. There's almost signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.